The question asks, a car traveling east at 45.1 meters per second passes a trooper hiding at the roadside. The driver uniformly reduces his speed to 25.0 meters per second, and he did it in 3.8 seconds. What is the magnitude and direction of the car's acceleration as it slows down? And then also, how far does the car travel in the 3.8 second time period? So what we want to do is we want to figure out the acceleration based off of uh, the formula for acceleration, which is acceleration equals final velocity minus initial velocity, so it's change in velocity, over final time, I'm sorry, final time minus initial time, which is change in time. So if we take our final velocity, it was 25, 25 meters per second. And our initial velocity was 45.1 meters per second. And our time period was 3.8 3.80, make that better, 3, so 3.8 meters per second, uh, I'm sorry, 3.8 seconds. And so that leaves us with, uh, so 25 minus 45 equals negative uh, 20.10, and divide that by 3.8, so negative 20.10 divided by 3.8 equals negative 5.29, that's our acceleration, 5.29, and the units on that is meters per second squared. So right now, 5.29, the acceleration equals 5.29, I'm sorry, negative 5.29 meters per second squared. The, um, the final velocity, v final, equals 25 meters per second. V initial equals 45.1 meters per second, and the time equals 3.8 seconds. And then it wants us to find out how far did the car travel during that time period. Well, let's just say that this is our time, and this is our velocity. And what happened was we started at a point up here, we consistently drop downward until we got to a point right here and we kept that velocity going forward. It wants to know in in this time frame over what's the distance. And so the distance is the area under the curve. And so we can break this down into two parts. There's this part and there's this tri so there's this triangular part. And then there's this rectangular part that we have to find the area for. So the v initial, the initial velocity right here, is, um, and, and then there's the final velocity down here. The, the final velocity being uh, 25 meters per second, we can take that times the time of 3.8 seconds. So 25 times 3.8. That's going to give us this area right here. And that is, um, what is that? That's 95, 95 even. So we got 95 meters right here. If we would have been going the slower speed the whole time, we would have went 95 meters. Now we have this part. So we the V initial, 45, we want to go down to here. We don't want to go all the way down. We want to go to the 45 minus the 25. So 45.1 minus the 25. That's the height of this triangle. We times it by 1 half. Base times height divided by 2 or times 1 half. Times it by 3.8. So that equals 38.19. 38.19. 8.19 meters. We can add our 95 and our 38.19, and we will get um, the the displacement. The displacement equals 
133.19 meters that's in seconds so that should be everything we got our acceleration and we got our displacement